Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Infigam. In this very, very exciting video of factorial equations, we are going to solve one nice factorial equation, x factorial plus x times 1 minus x square equal to 0. While solving this problem, I will use factorial notation, recursive formula, and two methods of solving this problem. One is traditional, and second one is innovative. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. As you can see clearly, x factorial is involved. That means x must be whole number because I am taking x positive integer including 0. I am not taking fractional value. So x is whole number. Means x may be 0, 1, 2, up to infinity. Any positive integer including 0. Now I will write what is factorial notation. Factorial notation means we are going to multiply all the numbers up to 1. Or you can say from 1 to that particular number product is called factorial. Now recursive formula. Recursive formula is n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial. This is our recursive formula. So let's begin this problem by writing our equation. So I will write x factorial and I will take minus outside. So times x, x square minus 1 equal to 0. Now difference of a square formula will come into the picture which can be written as a plus b a minus b. So using recursive formula I can write x factorial as x, x minus 1, x minus 2 factorial minus x times x plus 1, x minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now as you can see x, x minus 1 is clearly common. So I will take x, x minus 1 outside. Then in bracket I will be having x minus 2 factorial minus x plus 1. Curly bracket close equal to 0. Now it is the product of 3 brackets or 3 numbers. So I will write x, either x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 or the third bracket which is x minus 2 factorial minus x plus 1 equal to 0. So if you will check, let me check from the original equation. Equation is in this equation, x factorial plus x times 1 minus x square. Suppose I am putting x equal to 0. So what will happen? x factorial, so 0 factorial plus 0 no need to check equal to 0 0 factorial is 1 rhs is 0 so it is not true so that means we will reject this x equal to 0 okay we will reject this so it would be rejected similarly for x equal to 1 we will also reject the same c 1 factorial plus bracket would be 0 equal to 0 1 factorial is 1 is this equal to 0? No. So we will also reject x equal to 1. This one is accepted only x minus 2 factorial minus x plus 1 equal to 0. So in other words, I can write x minus 2 factorial equal to x plus 1. Now I am going to show you two solutions. One is using innovative method and second one using traditional or conventional method. So how I am going to approach this problem? Let me write here first. I would write right hand side this term as x minus 2. I am trying to match the RHS with LHS. So what I have to write here for counterpart means it is already written x minus 2. So 3. Overall it should be x plus 1. So yes it is matching. 
Now I will take x minus 2 to, towards left. So equation will become x minus 2 factorial minus x minus 2 equal to 3. Again I will use recursive formula. So I will write x minus 2 times x minus 3 factorial minus x minus 2 equal to 3. Now I can take x minus 2 outside. Once I will take x minus 2 outside common, then it will give us x minus 3 factorial minus 1 equal to 3. Now you can see it is the product of two brackets x minus 2 and this curly bracket and its product is 3 because of x is whole number so LHS would be one positive integer so RHS RHS should be it should match so how it will match see the factorization the prime factors of 3 we can write 1 times 3 3 times 1 so we can think about it is 1 and this curly bracket is 3 or this is 3 this is 1 then we will have this product 3 ok let's case consider this is a and this is b let's talk about a so x minus 2 equal to 1 that means x is equal to 3 ok now this curly bracket needs to be verified so x minus 3 factorial minus 1 it should be 3 it should be 3 ok minus 1 equal to 3 let me put 3 here so if I will put 3 here then you will be having 0 factorial minus 1 is this equal to 3 is this equal to 3 because 0 factorial is 1 1 minus 1 so it is not that means not accepted this case is incorrect not accepted b case the second one x minus 2 equal to 3 so x will be equal to 5 it should verify the curly bracket equation so let us check x minus 3 factorial minus 1 it is this value is 1 see it is 1 let me put here so 5 minus 3 factorial 5 minus 3 whole factorial so it would be 2 factorial minus 1 is this equal to 1 yes that means this value is verified so conclusion is x equal to 5 is our true solution if you want to check you can verify here 5 factorial plus 5 times 1 minus 25 5 square is 25 equal to it should come out 0 so 5 factorial is 120 plus 5 minus 24 so 120 minus 120 24 times 5 is 120 equal to 0 that means it is true now let's solve by conventional or traditional method what we used to do we used to consider the LHS y minus 2 factorial or that x minus 2 in this case we will consider this is our y ok so let me write here x minus 2 equal to y so x will be equal to y plus 2 so let us put the value it would be y factorial equal to x plus 1 so it will become y plus 3 now I will use again recursive formula y times y minus 1 factorial that is equal to y plus 3 divide by y y minus 1 factorial is equal to 1 plus 3 over y now two things are there first one and second one left hand side it is whole number y minus 1 would be always positive integer this is one point always positive integer and second point is y must be greater than or equal to 1 it cannot be negative now come to RHS right hand side here y if it is exceeding y is greater than 3 then this 3 over y would be fractional value 
so condition is y must be less than or equal to 3 now there are three numbers between y greater than 1 and y less than 1 it is 1 2 and 3 because y equal to 2 is not the factor of 3 so we will reject 2 also so accepted case are eligible accepted case are 1 and 3 so let's verify only y equal to 1 and y equal to 3 so let me write here let me write here y equal to 1 case so let me put here in this equation we will put in this equation okay so 1 minus 1 factorial it is equal to 1 plus 3 over 1 so it is 0 factorial 1 plus 3 0 factorial is 1 equal to 4 that means y equal to 1 is rejected now come to y equal to second case y equal to 3 1 is rejected now y equal to 3 so i will write here y equal to 3 put the value 3 minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over 3 so it is 2 factorial lhs is 2 factorial so 2 1 plus 1 so 2 that means y equal to 3 is our correct solution true solution which is accepted now what is y y is coming from here x minus 2 so i will write in the place of y x minus 2 equal to 3 so x is equal to 5 we have already verified it so this is how we can proceed factorial equation for solving it i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do right now thank you so much for watching bye bye till next video please take care yourself